Okay, good afternoon. I'm going to show you a slight test here on the fuel pump relays on uh, how tricky this can get with the um, different signals and, and stuff like this, what we got to work with here. And um, let me just see. Okay. I got the, um, I got this connected here. I got this open up. This is a Mercedes-Benz unit. And on 87 and 30, I got the continuity test. It's going to beep. 30 is usually plus 12 volt, 87 is the fuel pumps itself, the plus supply of the fuel pump. 15 is the run signal from the ignition. TD signal, that's named, that's what that um, pin is named, goes to my signal generator right now, set at 10 hertz and the amplitude of zero square wave. So no signal coming out of here. And then the ground is 31 and 50 is my crank start. Now for the crank start, I implemented this little thing here, the push button just to mimic the key. And I got my power supply here. So when I turn this on, we should hear about a two second beep. Yep, and there it is. So now I'm gonna try and to start this. So we're starting it, but no signal. Now, since I have only two hands, I have to change this here first and I'm going to change this to an amplitude of 5 volts and the signal is already there you can see this the pump actually started and um, let me change this again to 0 volts here and it turned off this is what's normally happening let me just turn this off we're going to change the sequence now. We have to let that bleed off here for a couple of seconds for this whole system to come off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, this back to 4 volts. I'm going to turn the power on. And you can hear as soon as we have a signal and we have 12 volt on the run signal, this thing is up and running. So this that will show you on how they actually work. Now, let me go to three volts. That's 33, we don't have that. And it is off. 3.5 volts, we have a signal. 3.25 volts, 3.25. And it is off. 3.3 volts. 3.4 volts, 3.45 volts. This is your threshold, and let me show you the frequency. 4 hertz, still running. 3 hertz, 2 hertz, and 1 hertz. 1 hertz it will not do, 1.5, 11.5, it comes on, 1.5 hertz, 1 .5, it still runs, 1.1, whoops, 1.1 hertz, it's off. So this is basically the minimum signal which has to come out of the EZL is 1.5 hertz or higher than that, 1.2 hertz. You can see this is not an exact science here, 44. So there's like a threshold of this 4 hertz. Let me go to 0 hertz, turn it off. 2 hertz, may not turn it on. So you can see, these are your, this is what I meant with your signal. 3 hertz will not turn it on. 4 hertz, which is basically one revolution. Let me get back here. 4 hertz. How do I actually go back? There we go. Go to 4 hertz. Not enough. 5 hertz, that's over 1 RPM. So you have to have more than 1 RPM for this system at 3.45 volts 
signal and that is peak basically uh, for this to actually respond of course when it gets a 12 volt signal let's just go up to 12 volt amplitude to i can go only to 10 volt here but then it will basically always work and let's go to a frequency of one hertz it will actually hold it so zero wasn't enough a zero zero kilohertz zero hertz one hertz two hertz three hertz four hertz right around four hertz and a minimum signal i would say five volt then you're gonna have fuel anytime this signal fluctuates even a little bit because of dirty contacts a bad ezl broken wires or what have you um, it will not work right i had to grind this thing down here quite a bit as you can see this here i had it polished uh, as good as i could because it really was tricky to even to make this video um to show you this and now when i go back here and i turn the power supply off of course that will there's some large capacitors in there it will and i'm going to go back here and i'm going to reset this to uh zero volts let me go to here zero volts and i go here so here you got your two two second signal again and you're cranking and you're cranking and you're cranking and you're cranking now once you have this in the run position this is what i wanted to show you and it has started once all you need to do is whoops 10 millivolt is not enough so we have now we should be able to crank it see and then it doesn't start so even if you have a signal if the signal comes in after after you have cranked it for whatever reason because the ezl is not working right then you won't have a then it won't work at all either now let me turn this off reset this thing and now even with the signal as soon as the run has this on ha. see this is how tricky these units are so this unit is not working right Let me change the frequency to five hertz there you go this is what this looks like and so now we got five hertz and it is running we're turning it off so you have to have more than one rpm on the engine for this to work so and now you can see it immediately it came on five volts and probably um, let me go with the testers out with the volts five volts it is enough to hold the signal we let it bleed off so the first time is the two seconds and there it comes it turns itself on and this is only with the uh, power applied to the run uh, command on pin 15. Um, so that's basically what you need if you're having problem then your signal is probably not good and that could be corrosion it could be the ezl unit it could be a bad contact in these sockets uh, but basically that's what you're looking at and uh, as higher the signal is better off we are uh, usually what i said is when i tested it on uh, x11 pin one the td signal it was 45 hertz at uh, uh, oops that was too high but that's okay that's too much so we have actually shut the engine off and here we go 45 hertz let me see 300 hertz it will do it 400 hertz 450 hertz oops then it cuts out again so this is the high speed this is when it drops out for your high idle when you go too high so you can't over crank the engine 450 let's see if 425 will do it 
now you can hear it click 4.15 yeah 4.15 no 4.01 no 400 no 3.99 once it goes up there it has to completely 3.99 yeah 400 yeah 401 that's where it shuts off at 401 hertz frequency now you can calculate this there's four pulses well that would be uh i don't know you would have to calculate it whatever that's going to come out to but that's basically what we're looking at um 45 45 hertz is uh 50 hertz is 750 so that would be over 3,000, so that's uh, 1,500 is uh, 150, 150, 4,000. I think this would be around 5,000 RPM when this thing is going to drop out. We can try now with the amplitude to go back up and make the signal back up. Nothing. It will cut out at 401 hertz on this unit. That is your high idle up, uh, the um, protection for the engine for high RPM. So now you have actually seen this of what this looks like and how we test it. This unit works and if it doesn't work that means the contacts are bad most likely. Like I said is on this thing here I just to set this up here on the table I had to go out to the um, uh, the wire brush and get the whole thing polished down so I could even show you this because it was dripping in and out just making the contacts with these clips I got on here. So that's it for today. Have a great day. Thanks.